What's up, Raiders? Bionic here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. I have some news for you guys today, some updates regarding the timeline on patch 3.0. There was an announcement. I will cover it quickly because that is accessible to everyone. But I also have some revealing information as to when the new fusion is going to be, and not to mention the announcement of a bunch of new champions. Again, are we really surprised? So I'm going to go over a couple of posts that we've gone on the content creator chat with you guys, and then we're also going to go over the spreadsheet on how you can better prepare for the upcoming fusion now that we roughly know when it is going to be all right so let's get going with all the information that i have for you guys with all these little posts Number one, we had the announcement from Plarium themselves for the release of Patch 3.0, which is apparently already in the stores or in the game, but everything is going to be turned on a little bit later. And they are confirming down here that it is going to be on Monday the 7th for the launch of the Doom Tower, okay? So be prepared next week. It is going to start, right? So make sure you tune in as I continue my little mini series for you guys on how to better prepare for Doom Tower, because I said it before, you want to farm those champion fragments for the unique legendaries that you can only get in the Doom Tower. I'll get to that in a second. Then we do have the confirmation right here that it is going to be on Monday by the Diamond, in case you guys won't exactly or weren't sure. Um, then we also have a confirmation that the Fusion is going to work with new champions only as of the champions number one won't be able to be summoned via the shards that is for the ones in the doom tower but uh, as for the other champs um that is going to go live in mid-december so that is the fusion and he is once again the diamond confirming that you should not hang on to old champs or to pickle them in the vault as he is putting it uh, for uh, the new fusions will be concentrated on new champs coming to the game so if we go back to the post that they gave us not too long ago, we had the fusion champion, Pixnul, but then we don't see 12 new rares in there. But that means that we can expect at least 12 new. Actually, that's going to be 16. What am I saying? It is going to be 16 new rare champions, as it typically is with all these new fusions nowadays. Okay, so we have Vergumkar here, and that was all new champions. So basically, they are confirming that mid-December is the new fusion, which is going to be probably one week after Doom Tower has started. So make sure you start prepping for this, and it is going to be all these new rares once again. And I think that going forward, we can probably say goodbye to all the old champions. But I will still caution you guys to maybe not get rid of all of them just yet. We never know. If you don't have a problem of vault space, perhaps you can hang on to them. It does count for like some um, total player power that you have. Right, like my vault, I still have like what 60 spots that I could fill up in here. I do have a lot of extra uh, rares there ready to go. And yes, if you do, you know, don't have the space, go ahead and empty them. But I like having this as a backup for food just in case like I am last minute on something. This might come in handy for you guys. So if you're not uh, or if you don't have that well problem, uh, then maybe you're just you're good, right? So keep hanging on to them. But like I said, this you know will will take down a lot of your total player power. And I've also mentioned this before. But like if you're in a guild or in a group of guilds that requires certain player power for you to move up or you know for you to not go down, then maybe you want to hang on to that. But still, I think it's um, a little bit unfortunate that we've did all this work to stock up all those extra champions, and that now they are removing that sort of like aspect of the game of being better prepared for this so how can you now better prepare for a fusion like this if we go back to the uh fusion calendar here or not the fusion but like the potions the potions is one thing right you also know about food you're going to need to rank up all these new guys to 40 so start prepping your food all your rank threes ready to go in the vault or in your champion inventory if you have the extra space like i do i can put them all in there right so that is a little something that you can do uh but the potions are probably the hardest aspect right now of the game and then having the food ready and not to mention the last thing i will say is your shards you're gonna have to summon you will be able to get all of those champions from events and tournaments but you can also pull them from shards, even mystery shards, right? So if you have a lot of these saved up when the fusion event is going to go live, then is a good time 
to go all in. Use your shards. That is going to save you a lot of work. This is basically the only way you can prepare now. Have a couple gems saved up on the side and have enough silver for the artifact enhancement events, okay? So that's basically it. A quick announcement of what is happening, the timeline on the Doom Tower, the new fusion, and how to better prepare for all this, and a bunch of new rare champions we're going to get in the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later.